Buenas. Hello everyone. November just began and summer crops are over, at least here in Asturias. Spain, the weather is not so good anymore. And well, we have to start with winter crops. Among those, peas, beans, cabbage, etc. And a few days ago, by the way, uh, a teacher, someone that for me is a master in many of the things I do here, I have learned from him. Well, he uploaded a video about garlic, about elephant garlic. So I asked him if he could send me some and I have just received the package. So I, I was not thinking about shooting a video about garlic, but well, I want to thank him for sending them to me and, and well, and see how this elephant garlic evolved. Well, let's see what's in the package. Truth to be told, to receive seeds through the mail, it's exciting. Here they are. Let's open this. Oh, look at this. Look at the size of the garlic clove we're going to plant. Well, he sent me so many, I was not expecting this many. According to what he was saying, it's a first year bulb, meaning that when the head comes out from this clove, you will get this little one and you plant this little one and next year you have this sort of bulb and then next year you get a full head. Also to prepare the soil to plant bulbs and cloves, I'm going to do a test this year, I don't know if it's going to be good, if it's going to work or not. And it is I'm going to take the shoots and plant them in seed trays. I want to see if they sprout well, if they germinate well, if there is no issues with it. And since he sent me many, well, I'm going to use a raised bed where I had eggplants. Well, they're still alive, but they are not producing what they should, so... So I'm going to remove them all. Okay, now let's stir the ground a bit, mix it so it is loose. Garlic requires loose soil and then we'll add some compost. Once we have stirred the soil with a rake, obviously this is optional. If it's the same to you, that's fine, but I like it to be well leveled. And now we'll plant the garlic. Let's begin. We're going to plant the garlics I received on the mail. I'm organizing them. These are the bulbs. That last year, 
they were shoes, and these are the clothes he sent me. Huge. I'm going to put them aside for a second to open a hole. And we're going to plant them. Just like this. So, let's make a furrow. I want it deep. As you see, the soil is very loose. And let's put them in place. Like this. Well, I'm going to put this other one in the corner. So, I know that's a clove. Perfect. As you see, the hole is about double the size the height of the clove deep. So I'm going to cover it now. And there we have the first row. Let's cover them. We have planted the elephant garlic. No, I'm going to plant regular garlic. I bought these heads and we're going to do the same five per row so let's calculate this one here one over here another one here so this way you can see there's more than enough space for the heads to actually grow Once the holes are made, so let's separate the cloves and we put them in here and just like that until the raised bed is covered and complete. If the garlic is very small, so it's not worth it to plant them because, well, you're probably going to get a smaller head. So those just, maybe just eat them. Just don't think, oh, they're very small, we're going to have to throw them away. Um, i better off planting them. No, just go ahead, eat them. This one is huge. It seems to be like an elephant one, but it's not. Okay, the heads are already all in, and now we're just going to cover the holes, all of them. So here there's nothing yet. I'm going to plant the shoots here when they sprout. I'm going to plant them there. I made the holes just to have them marked, but there's nothing there yet. And, well, we have the garlic planted. And that's it. We have planted all the garlics in this raised bed. And now we'll have to wait and see how it all evolves. In the first three rows, we have elephant garlic that I got from my friend Miracebo. And then we have 15 rows of regular garlic. Well, that's it. There's not much else to do. Just wait, see how they evolve. And, well, we'll see if this year we get elephant garlic. If not, well, just garlic. Until June or something, they're going to be here in the raised bed. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video.